Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I have filmed this tutorial for you using drugstore products. It's just like um, a bronzy, brownish, grayish, smoky eye with a pop of color, a pop of teal blue in the waterline. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I used all drugstore products and I think it looks really good, so definitely stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. I also want to apologize for my eyebrows. I've been growing them back in so I can reshape them. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to start and prime my eye with HIP's Cream Shadow Paint in Steely 909, which is like a, um, a really dark slate gray slash black. And I'm just using the brush that comes with it. And I'm applying this all to, to my lid and also bringing it up into um, the crease a little bit. As I start to bring the color up to the crease, I like to... Um, flip sides so that I'm not using the side with the most amount of color on it so that I can start blending it instead of like applying more color. Next I'm going to take Glam Eyes Eyeshadow by Rimmel London in the color Spicy Brawn and it's very very smooth but there's a lot of fallout but it's still pretty. And I'm just going to take this low Cornell paintbrush, apply the color, tap it. I'm just going to apply this color over top of the black. Eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take a plain old blending brush and blend them together. Use the dark bases because I find that not only does it make the color stand out a little bit more, but it sort of creates an illusion of a smoky eye without having to go through all the steps of smudging your eyeliner and things like that. Because of the black underlay, it kind of just creates that effect. And I like that. Now I'm going to take a different quad from the drugstore, and this is by Maybelline. And this, and this is the Chai Latte Quad. And I'm going to use the crease color, which is this really pretty gold color, very similar to Amber Lights from MAC. And I'm just going to take this Revlon crease brush. And this is going to go right above my crease. Sort of blending out that, that crease color into my uh, brow bone. And I think it just adds a nice effect. Now for under my eye, I'm going to use yet again another Maybelline quad, and this is the Velvet Crush quad. And I'm going to be using the outer corner color, this blue. I'm just going to apply that with this e.l.f. just flat little brush, and place the brush flat down underneath my eye. Then I'm going to take the brow bone color in this palette, which is like a very light pink just for the inner corner. I'm going to take it below to meet where I lined my lower lash line and blend it. Feel free to go in like with your finger or q-tip and just clean up any edges. Make sure that the eyes are even. It's easy to kind of forget where you're at and then all of a sudden you don't have two even eyes.
Now when I originally did this look, I went in, I applied Jordana eyeliner in sterling blue to my lower lash line. And I'm going to do that again, but I am going to warn you that I did find that this irritated my eye. So I'm just going to line my inner waterline. and the upper waterline. For eyeliner on top of my eye, I used um, Carbon Black Lacole Pencil from L'Oreal and I just, you know, lined my eye. For mascara, I applied Maybelline Full and Soft. A coat of Carbon Black Voluminous by L'Oreal. I just quickly went back in to put a highlight on my eye and I just used the brow bone color in the chai latte quad and my essence of beauty brush and just applied that to my um, brow bone. Lips, I sort of made my own lip color. I started with Rimmel Celeb. I'm going to put that on right now. Just like a bright Malibu fruit punch pink. And then I actually applied Revlon Color Stay Red Velvet over top. But if you have a lighter skin tone, you can probably, or if you have lighter coloring, you can probably skip this and just stick with the pink. I liked like the blue brown um, reddish orange combination. I thought it tied everything together really well. So that's the look, and I really hope you enjoyed because I know that I love watching drugstore tutorials because then you can just go right out and buy the products and recreate the look yourself. Please let me know what you think. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.